What up, Team Hawk House? Welcome to another resort review. If you're new to the channel, this is one of your first videos watching. I have a goal to ride every resort in the United States. We're gonna ride them, it's gonna be sick, and then I will make a review video on each ski resort and let you know who the resort is for, should you go to it, because maybe a trip to North Carolina, to Beach Mountain, which we are reviewing today, is a better move for you and your family than spending tons of money to coming to Colorado to ride a bunch of blues and greens and just not get the full experience when you can have a better trip somewhere else, maybe closer or just in general cheaper. Like, let's figure this stuff out so we can have the best trip possible as well as there could be some places that you just have to go to because they're that sick so once again we're doing beach mountain in north carolina today i'm really excited we went to this trip last season and we had an incredible day there if you want to see the vlog from this day check it out right there i might have flipped upside down into a river it was kind of a mess so check that video out but here on the channel with these resort reviews we rate every ski resort by 10 categories from like lifts to lift prices to food and then every category gets a score from zero to ten. Zero being not applicable they don't have it at all one is terrible five is average and ten is best in the world this is like world-class skiing uh views whatever it's gonna be after we go through the ten categories and i show you some sick b-roll from the whole video i will give you a score from zero to, to 100 on how sick is this resort and then give you guys who i think this resort is for and should you go on a trip here or not things like that so enough talking let's jump into beach mountain resort <laughs> start off with lift prices how affordable is it to go here and i think it's pretty affordable i gave them a seven on the score because on a weekday it's only 43 dollars to go ride there for the day like that's really good they also have night riding which so they have like night riding packages full day packages things like that and then on a weekend it's a uh, 72 dollars for the day so not bad it's definitely under 100 bucks is great for any type of riding so i did give them a seven when it comes to price for the ski resort <laughs> how easy is it to get there and i would say it's pretty average i gave them a five on ease of access it is an hour and 20 from johnson city tennessee not north carolina but i think that's the biggest city close to it yeah everywhere like driving there it was a little windy it was a little trickier than to getting to sugar or appalachian but it was still pretty average and simple and so yeah i gave them a five ease of access not bad now lodging this one is like an asterisk i did give them a score but they actually don't have lodging on the mountain but on their website, they have a link for booking a place, which it's all the places around and everything. So there's not like ski in, ski out, but because it's on their website, because it's available and you can find housing super simple, I did give them a two, which it, it might be cheating because technically they should get a zero because they don't actually have a place to stay on the resort. But because once again, on the website, it's available, it's there. I gave them a little bit of a score. So let me know in the comments, was that fair? Now chairlifts, this is important. How are we gonna get up the mountain? How are we gonna ride down? Now they have six chairlifts, uh, a magic carpet and a tow rope for the park. So I did give them a six when it comes to the lifts because there's two that take you to the top. Uh, one that gets you kind of close, there's like a back lift. Like there's tons of lifts. They're not super slow. It was just, just yeah, there's enough. There's I think there's more lifts than runs or almost exactly the same amount of lifts, lifts as there are runs, which is crazy. So um, no hit or miss with the lifts and the fact that the park has their own tow rope is super awesome. However, tow rope was down when I was there. We had to hike the park, which was kind of a bummer, but still. They have a tow rope for the park. They have lifts to get to the top of the mountain. They don't have a bubble or a gondola or a shell, anything like that. So they're just average chair lifts. Now runs. Uh, I gave them a four when it comes to runs because there's only seven runs it looked like or roughly seven runs and then like little things off of them. We were able to do a bunch of tree skiing, but that's only because we showed up and it was a pow day and it was like a super sick. It was kind of gnarly in the beginning, but like we had a really good snow season when we went out that, that there this year. And that's a big reason why I don't cover snow conditions in these resort reviews because 
it's hit or miss. Like you can come to, to Beach Mountain and it's like a horrible snow year and conditions suck. Or we went on like one of the best snow years ever, had an incredible time. We got to ride trees, which is so sick. But the runs were a little steeper. I wouldn't say there was a ton of beginner runs there, but they had a bunch of, they were fun. They were definitely fun. So for only having six runs and still scoring a four when it comes to the runs is actually incredible. So uh, they did, like I said, the, the runs were fun. They all had a bunch of fun side hits and things to do on them. You were snowboarding next to houses, which is really cool. You could literally like go into someone's backyard and snowboard. But there wasn't a lot of beginner terrain. I guess at the bottom was a little mellow, but like the way the hill is built, it's like kind of steep and super mellow. So it's like you get a short section of beginner or you get a, like a kind of a nice section of steep gnarly, not gnarly, but like steeper riding. And so it's like, it's interesting. They got a Now the park, you actually will probably see a bunch of clips coming out of this park. It's a really cool park. It's surrounded by houses. Uh, once again, the tow rope was down, so we only got to hike a couple of rails. And they got a six for the park, which is above average, but there's a big asterisk with this park because it actually doesn't have jump. It doesn't have like a jump line. Sometimes they'll build like a single jump or kind of a mini jump, but like it's not a park that has a jump. I almost took it under average because they didn't have a jump, but their rails and their quality of build is so high. Like, they build super nice features with really good lips. The rails are super greased and super nice. Like everything about the park is above average other than the fact that they can't get jumps in that section, but that's kind of like, it's just a small mountain. So I gave them a six on the park. Uh, it's a sick park. If you love rail riding, you're gonna enjoy this park. Now food, we didn't end up eating on the mountain, but looking on the website and what I saw in person, they have like a brewery there and they also have like a normal average like lift lodge that you can eat at. There's also like a cool bar at the top of the mountain. So I gave them a five when it came to food. Uh, I didn't eat there once again. We didn't get food because we went to Banner Elk Cafe down in the village. Like Michael was like, this is my favorite restaurant of all time. We have to eat there. So we didn't eat on the resort. We ended up eating there. But I gave them an average food because once again, there's two options on such a small place to go. A brewery, a bar at the top, uh, everything you'd want in a normal ski resort. So they got an average. Now employees, this is where I usually mention like I don't cover conditions because you never know it's so hit and miss depending also on the time of the year you go you might be going super late season so there's not a lot or you might be going super early season so there's not a lot like i can't go everywhere during prime time so we fill that spot with employees and i think that's important because an employee can either make or break your day and most resorts get an average score of five when it comes to employees but beach got a seven because we ran into a couple awesome employees that made our experience better we booked our tickets in advance because of COVID. You had to get reservations, all this stuff. But then we went and asked them if we could get free tickets to film a video there. And they were like, you know what? We got you. And they gave us free tickets, which that person we dealt with was incredible. And they refunded our money, which they don't ever really do. And they're like, we'll do this for you. And then also the park crew was like, yo, we're so sorry the tow rope is down, but they still let us like hike the features and hit some of the rails. And they were really awesome dudes. So like overall, we had an incredible experience with the, the few employees that we dealt with. They were all super awesome. And, and yes, for most places, like the employees, if you deal with a bunch of them, they're probably gonna be all super awesome. But our experience on the mountain was better because of the people we interacted with. So like to me, that gave them a better score. So they did get a seven when it comes to employees. Now views and scenery, this is kind of a cheat code because we showed up on probably like the coolest day ever because in the very beginning of the day, it was super foggy, you couldn't see anything. And then towards the middle of the day, it all blew out and you got this really sick view of North Carolina at this peak of the mountain, we were above the clouds. I've only experienced that in Oregon at Timberline, which was really cool. So we were like on a mountain above the clouds, but like the views were, it's pretty sick, you know, but it isn't like the most incredible. There's not a ton of mountains around that are like gnarly and whatever, everything like that. But overall it was an incredible day. Like the vibe from the views and scenery, like it made the day for me. When I think back to beach, I'm like, man, standing over this overlook and taking this sick photo right here, made the whole like day for me. So uh, I gave him a six for views and scenery, which is impressive for a North Carolina ski resort to get an above average views and scenery. Uh, it could be just because of the day I went and how magical it was, or it could just be beach. I don't know. Let me know. Does beach have a super sick view all the time or what did I get lucky? And lastly, the would I go back? Like how fun was my day in the mountain? Like, was it sick, everything like that? And honestly, out of the North Carolina trip, I think beach was my favorite day. We were ripping in the trees. We were like riding the pot overall it was such a sick day so i gave it an eight on the would i go back because overall the experience was just so sick and so fun and i thought the runs were fun thought the park was fun 
just everything we did there was sick. Taking those sick photos, like I had a blast. So I would definitely go back. I'm probably not gonna go back because I gotta ride a ton of ski resorts because there's 467 ski resorts in the United States. So once we go to a ski resort, the likelihood of us going back is actually very, very slim. But overall, I had a sick time and I would go back and I give that an eight. So now we take all those scores, we tally them together and Beach got up 56, an above average score for an East Coast, I think it's technically the East Coast, uh, ski resort, that's incredible. It's hard to get an above average score, especially with your small ski resorts. I'm super pleased with that score. Let me know if you are. Did I do pretty accurate? I want the locals to comment down below. How do you feel about Beach Mountain? Was I correct with the score? I'd love to know. Also, drop like the insider tips. We wanna help people figure out this is somewhere they should go. So like comment, how's the food? Where should you stay? Like all that kind of stuff, guys. Help people out in those comments. And now we'll answer the question, who is this for? This mountain is for, I think, the park rider that loves rails or just a park rider because you got a tow rope. You get to get in the park. I'm sure the vibe is incredible. We were kind of the only people there that day. It's still a sick vibe, but I'm sure the vibe in the park is sick. The rails are sick. So if you're a park rider, it's a good spot. And then if you're like a family, I think it's a good spot. That's like an intermediate level family. You can ride some steep runs and like that. Beginner, maybe if you're like first day in the mountain, that beginner section would be good for you. But if you're like trying to get to the next level, the step from like the bunny hill to the top of the mountain might be a little much. So I don't know if it's like good for like the beginner like or past beginner, like you know what I'm saying, like super beginner, yes. A little past beginner, no. Uh, so that intermediate family, I think it's probably in a great resort for you guys. And so yeah, that's, that's what I think it's for. Park rider, intermediate family, uh, single person gonna go do 600 laps, I don't, I don't know if that's really the spot for you. Now let me know how you really feel about this video by smashing that like button, guys. That helps other people find this video. So by smashing like, more people will see this and know that they should come to Beach Mountain because it got above average uh, rating. Now, if you wanna see any of the other resorts that I have reviewed, because I think we're at like 11 resort reviews right now, uh, there's the resort review playlist right here, but also go check out the resort map that's linked in the description. It's a map of the entire United States. All the green little bubbles are where we've gone snowboarding. You can click them and see the, the video there. So if I've gone to your ski resort and you haven't seen that vlog or that video, you can check it out. But also at the bottom, we have like the ratings of every resort that we've done a resort review for and everything like that. It's a tool, it's super cool. Check it out, check out the resort map. And after you check out that link, highly consider snagging some Evolution merch, hats, t-shirts, Evolution stickers. These are the hot seller right here. All of that's in the description as well. The stickers, the merch is how I'm able to travel to all these ski resorts and do this for a living. I do make these videos for a living. So snagging the merch definitely helps out the whole dream of doing this. Plus all of the merch comes with guaranteed compliments. I, I promise if you rock the sticker on your helmet, someone's gonna say, that's a sick sticker. So snag some merch, support the dream. And with that team up guys, thank you so much for reviewing our resort with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I'm on top of the ocean, living like life ain't frozen, feeling my feet been chosen for something other than motion, yeah. Mama told me I'ma be somebody. I ain't never gonna need nobody, no, no. I ain't never...